Tonight we begin with the action on the street, Wall Street. Nearly 1,000 people arrested there today. They were there as part of an anti-nuclear protest. They wanted to shut down the stock market. They did not succeed, but they were noisy. In a moment, the full report. And this protest came today because this day is the 50th anniversary of the great stock market crash of 29. Tonight, two reports. A look back with Joel Siegel, a look ahead with Roger Sharp. And tonight, also on Eyewitness News, the crash of Billy Martin, fired once again by the Yankees, and this time looks to be the last time. Again, two reports. Anna Bond with the fans, Warner Wolf with his special look at the story. Speaking of anniversaries, New York subways are celebrating their 75th anniversary, and tonight, Doug Johnson takes a look at the trains, compares them to the subways of today. We'll have those stories, also Stormfield's forecast, the star cars, a special edition of the Gourmet, and more as Eyewitness News comes to you direct from the newsroom in just a moment from now. When you hear beautiful music, you're listening to WRFA. Lady Luck is coming at you. I've got your number. Cold 45. Gonna give your life a spin. I've got the dynamite taste. Gonna make you win. Cold 45. You can bet all you got. 45 is smoking hot. I've got your number. Call 45. I've got the dynamite taste. Call 45. Doing a solo? I'd prefer a romantic dinner for two. Well, how about 22? Dine out with the American Express card at Joe's Pier 52. Roseanne and Ernie tonight after the game. This is Eyewitness News with Roger Grimsby, Bill Butel, plus Warner Wolf, Storm Field, and the Eyewitness News team. Broadcasting direct from the Eyewitness Newsroom. Good evening, I'm Roger Grimsby. Here now the news. More than 1,000 milled and moiled in the Wall Street area today. The anti-nuclear demonstration, one of several in the nation this day, intended to shut down the market. They failed in that, but they did succeed in irritating some, a number managed to get arrested, some more than once. The story report from Bob Lake. The anti-nuclear forces put it on the line, the profit line, in a vain attempt to shut down the stock exchange. Starting before 7 a.m. and moving in well-organized affinity groups, almost a thousand demonstrators matched by a like number of police hemmed in the exchange. <laughs> Getting to work took persistence and some agility. The anti-nukers went limp as arrests loomed and were dragged to waiting vans and dragged to waiting buses. They're supporting the system that's going to destroy all of us. If you don't care about yourself, think about us. Hundreds were hauled in, some of them later returning for seconds. So while demonstrators are being carted away literally by the busload only a block away in front of the Treasury Building in the House of Morgan, it was time for some band music and some street theater. While many inviting Wall Street workers to take the day off or wishing them a happy anniversary of the 1929 crash were young people, many were not. I'm absolutely opposed to nuclear power and nuclear weapons and militarism in general and the, the uh, kind of uh, abuse of the economic resources of, of the country, the economic financial resources of the country that is symbolized by Wall, Wall Street. We want to be here specifically to let stockholders know they don't have stocks in peaceful corporations. They have stocks in the war industry, in effect. What did financial district workers think of it all? I knew it was going to be here. Had anybody suggested you come in earlier? Even? Yes. They said I'd be in 6.30, but couldn't get up that early. So. 